Hi, it's Lisa. And I am tired because I worked late last night and something crappy happened at work last night and blah, blah, blah. What else is new, right? So, anyway, I'm sitting out here in my truck and the dogs are listening, but that's okay, right? So I hope this thing stays in place. I got it anchored up here on the dashboard. If it doesn't stay in place, I'll adjust it. I apologize for that. But... <sighs> Let me take a deep breath, right? Tired I am. Tired. I need to go eat some good food, I think. Pizza would be good. Anyway. I was thinking about this thing that I saw online. And I thought it was interesting. So I wanted to share it. And this thing um, is called The Dark Night of the Soul. And let me see if I can explain what sounds like some sort of a dark supervillain or superhero of the night to me. The Dark Night of the Soul. No, it's not that. So, The Dark Night of the Soul doesn't necessarily happen at night. It can happen anytime during your life. At any time of the day. It's one of these moments where everything that you once thought of yourself, that you thought of as important, that, that you thought you were, your identity, um, and everything that you're fighting for in life and working towards and everything and what you wanted in life and your ideal kind of life and just your image of yourself and blah, 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 and all these strong beliefs you've had. Perhaps during the dark night of the soul, this gets questioned. And you think, who am I? What the hell am I doing? Does all this stuff really matter? It's kind of like an identity crisis. Maybe it's like a depression, you know? So maybe it's like this sobering, moment in your life where all these things that used to bring you pleasure they no longer really bring you pleasure anymore and when you seek them out they don't do anything for you anymore so you have to find that new you these the, you have to find the new things that are important to you you have to seek out these new things that matter to you and that is what brings that spiritual you know, continuing of spiritual journey, that spiritual growth, spiritual elevation, right? Or so they say. Now, I think some people, when they have this moment in their life, they might end it, right? They might think like, my life suddenly doesn't matter anymore. Everything's ridiculous. All the things I thought were important are just, they're stupid, right? And they just do something crazy like they end their life. But instead of ending it all, instead of doing that, where you're, you're, you're fighting for new energy and you feel that lull in your energy and you feel that disruption in your life where nothing matters and you get that, you hit that dark, you know, that dark, deep depression and you can't pull yourself up out of that rut, you have to force yourself to move through this time of low energy and enforcing yourself to move through times of pain or despair or depression or boredom or just blah in your life, you move through that and you're going to get to that new period in life where you're going to find happiness and pleasure and fulfillment again because you're going to find a new way to live with new interests, a new idea of what life is supposed to be who you are supposed to be, and what is important to you. So, yes, this is called the dark night of the soul. And there you go. Now, I guess 
I'm going to go back inside the house and finish cleaning something else because that is one of the things I do when I'm not at work. I clean crap in the house or else do stuff with my kids. Perhaps someday I'll get to go on another vacation with my kids. Until next time, I'll talk to you again.